Hello everyone, welcome to the Auto Online World Builder tutorial. Uh, my name is Squidgy, if you don't know me already, and uh, the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people are having trouble with the Auto Online World Builder. Now, the Auto Online World Builder comes with the uh, the collector's edition of Aut. So if you have that and you've got the World Builder and you want to learn, this is going to be uh, a good tutorial to follow. Now, uh, I've already done a world in Aut. Uh, it is up online. It's called Vehicle. Um, now, that was designed by myself. And so during that, I learned from the original dev video and taught myself. And it was, yeah, it's hard. The World Builder is not easy. So you need to be prepared for a big task ahead. Uh, now, for example, it took me 10 hours, I think, probably to get comfortable with the program, and then about another 14 hours to complete my world. Uh, so, yeah, you are in for a long, long ride. But, nonetheless, what I'm going to do in this episode, and if you want to check out all the other episodes, if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, there's a playlist video, a uh, playlist link, sorry, down below. Just click on that, and that should take you to the playlist of all the Aut World Builder uh, tutorials and videos and everything in this series, um, including one such as the tour of vehicles. So I will show you the difference between the World Builder version of vehicle and the actual vehicle. Uh, there's also going to be a question and answers, which if you have any questions or answers, are, are probably about a month time after these videos are uploaded. I will do a question and answers video. Uh, so let's get started now. If you don't know how to access the Auto Online World Builder, this is how. You go into your Steam library. Now, keep in mind, you can see I'm on a MacBook. That's how I do everything. Uh, the better your computer is, the better it's going to run the World Builder. It can uh, take a lot of processing power, I guess, because it's trying to build all the voxel blocks together and stuff. So, it's doing all these algorithms and mathematical things, and I don't know. I don't know how it runs, but yeah, I'm assuming that's how <laughs> what it is. So. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Auto Online World Builder. So you need to right click on Auto Online in your Steam library. And if you have the Collector's Edition, and if you don't, by the way, you can upgrade to the Collector's Edition uh, for $15 or $20, I think it is, DLC. Uh, but here we go. Where is it? Uh, launch Editor. Okay, so you want to click on Launch Editor. So it's just going to launch now. And this is it. This is the world builder you just right now you're seeing a big black screen but promise you this is it so i'm just going to hide hide steam here where are you go away all right and i am gonna leave you'll see what actually no you know what i'm gonna make it a big full screen maybe i can still do that cool so um to start a new world you click on obviously new world Uh, and there you go. There's your your starting thing. <laughs> your unnamed world. So to name it, you just uh, right click on it. In my case, I'm not sure how it is in the Windows version. Some things could be different. I don't think they are. But uh, to do that, I just right clicked on the title bar and it'll let me edit it. So I'm going to call this because we what I did is I put out a straw poll vote on my Twitter. Uh, follow me on Twitter, by the way. It's at Squidgy G. Um, you know, I do things like that sometimes. So we put out a straw poll and uh, there was a couple of ideas I came up with um, for this tutorial. I wanted to see what people wanted me to build. And it turns out we're going to build a world based on the concept art from the Auto Online website. So if you haven't seen that, that is this. Nifty MacBook oh, skills. Um, so that's this. So as you can see, you know, there's a big picture of a Titan here. They're awesome. All right, but we've got like cool cave systems here and these weird shaped rocks and um, big mountains in the background, rivers and lakes and all that kind of stuff. So that is what we're going to be basing our world off is the concept art, which is cool, I think. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'll probably try and do per picture a biome. And you can see there's more biomes. It looks like there's icy um, like mountains in the background there, that kind of stuff. So... Let's go back to our world builder. So I'm going to call this. What am I going to call this? Uh, oh, hmm. True. We're going to call it true because it's all backwards. Okay. So this world is called true. 
Seed I, I has a R seed. So since I played with the World of the last time, there's some new stuff. I don't know what this is. Let's, sure, let's change this to Squidgy, just Squidgy, probably, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, I'll just show you quickly around the basics of the, uh, you know, I'll show you what all the buttons are and stuff like that, and then we'll get onto it. So. As you can see here, you can choose the colors of your wood, your leaves, your dirt, your grass, your wood, like everything. So each world has a different color of grass, it's got a different color of, of stone. And eventually I believe you'll be able to choose your sky color, you'll be able to choose your crystal color, because crystals are supposed to be different in each world as well. Lots of different things going on. Um, so if you're watching this in the future and you've got all those cool options, good for you. I'm, I'm excited for what the future of the world editor will bring. Uh, but here we go. So as you can see, uh, you can actually add nodes here on the left. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this, you might have to put this in full screen because these are small. I am recording in 1080p and I've got the program open in 1080p. So, uh, so you know, if you need to add a biome, you click plus biome. If you need to add a height map, which is uh, what levels your biome is, you do that. Substrate is, I believe, if I can remember right, it's what's underneath the ground. Strata, you can place on top of the ground. Decoration is decorations. Plantations is trees, stuff like that. Uh, ores is obviously ores. So, um, you know, if you're going to go mining and you want some coal, you can put some coal like throughout your land and stuff. So people will bump into, you know, coal uh, and lakes. So you have lava lakes and water lakes. Then we have these things down here, which are different types of noise. So you've got Perlin noise, which is a basic noise. Simplex is also a basic noise. There are two basic noises. If you're doing, um, so you can see that they're color coded. If they're gray and for instance, see here how this has red down here uh, in the global generation, you've got distortion red and caves red. That would mean that you'd have to add a red noise. If it's gray, it would mean that you'd have to add a gray noise. I hope this is all making sense so far. Uh, <laughs> it is complex, it is. So, walling noise is um, a different type of noise. Yet again, it's really hard to explain what the different noises do. The best thing you can do is play around with them. Um, I'll show you some later. Gabor is another one. Blah, blah, blah. You've got some, which means you can add two different types of noises together. Uh, you've got f all sorts. Look, honestly, I don't even know what they are. But you play with them and you learn from playing and making mistakes. So... Uh, yeah, that's basically it. And as you can see here, here's some instance notes for, I think that's certain things you can, I think it's in plantations. You add these off plantations and you add elliptical vein off the ort node here. But that's, we'll get to that later. Okay, so let's, uh, let's firstly have a look at, um, the reference pictures. So it's always handy to have reference pictures up. When I did uh, my vehicle world, I had pictures up of Shangri-La and um, Shambhala. If you don't know what they, those are, they're like fictional worlds that are mountain and falling apart and stuff. So I was using them to kind of see what I should do with my world and the colors and all sorts. So it was really, um, it's a really good idea to do that if you, if you can. So I'll be using these as my reference images. Okay, so the grass is like, uh, it's like a dirty green, except down here it's a brighter green, but we've got to stick with the one grass color. The rocks are like a yellowy, orangey color. Uh, and yeah, and it looks like, you know, trees are pink. Are they pink and green? I can only see pink trees right now. So... Is that right, pink trees? Does anyone else see any different trees? You're probably screaming at the screen. Yeah, hey, look, there's some trees down there. I'm going to go for pink and green, I think. Pink and green? Pink and green. Okay, we're going to go for pink and green trees. That's what I've decided. So, let's choose our things. So, the grass is like a dirty green. So, would it be that? Or would it be that bright green? This gets complicated and, you know, I'm very picky. Uh, we're going to stick with the normal green, I think. Yeah, we're going to stick with the normal. Mm. No, you know what? We're going to go with that dark green. We're going to go with that dark green. 
<laughs> dirt. Let's have a look at what the dirt color should be. So have we got any examples of dirt? Yeah, it just looks like a normal brownie. Say it's similar to the rocks, I would say. So let's do that as well. So dirt needs to be darker than that. We'll probably go with maybe that color. Do you reckon? Oh, you need to get rid of. Oh no, we've got heaps more. We're gonna go with. Uh, let's go with that color. We'll go with normal, normal brown, normal ish green. Okay, so alpine wood. That can be our green trees, let's say. So let's go for a dark, as you know, like a almost gray. Uh, let's make the wood. Let's make it also very bland. I'm not going for bright colors here. The only things that are bright in these reference images are pink and uh, maybe the grasses, which is green. And that's it. So I'm not going to go too bright. We've got lots of blues and stuff like that. So it looks like there's lots of crystals. And it looks like to be no lava. So we're not going to use lava in this world. Um, okay. So let's make our light wood. Uh, let's make it gray. Does that work? Where's our pink trees? Uh, yeah, that can. Oh, uh, they're kind of browny. What's like a gray brown? Maybe that one. What do you think? Yeah, let's go for that one. And let's go for pink. So do you reckon bright pink like that? Yeah, that's about it. They're not very... Oh, it could be almost a purpley pink. Now, let's go for that one. All right, and then we want to make our long grass probably the same as our main grass. We could make it brighter. We could definitely make it that green. Long grass is... Uh, for instance, let me show you on here. Uh, see the, the grass that's sticking up. So when you're walking around in the old worlds, you can see the grass that's sticking up. That's, that's long grass. So you can make that a different color. It doesn't have to be the same color. So you know what? We're going to make ours slightly lighter. Or we could make our long grass dark. And we could make our normal grass the normal green. How does that sound? Let's do that. You'll find me backtracking myself so many times while doing this. Sand, let's make sand, let's make it dark, yeah? What do you reckon? Is there any example of sand in here? There isn't. Uh, I mean, I guess that could be sand. It looks more like rock. Or oh, stone, sorry. But I'm going to go with, yeah, I'm going to go with dark sand. And for the stone, we're going to go with that brownie colour. So, what's the brownest we've got here? Possibly that one, or that one, what do you think? Go for that one. Now, I'm sure in the future there will be more colors added, and I would like that, that would be awesome. Uh, but for now, these are the ones we've got. So we're got, working with very bland colors. Uh, these worlds don't look too happy. The things that stand out in these worlds are, I guess, the crystals and shiny things, um, and the, the pink trees, obviously, as well. So that's it. Okay, now we move on to our biome size. Now, I used 24 for Beagle. I regret it. I will go with 32 or 40. Um, let's go for 32 for this one. And yes, now, you're going to have to bear with me because I'm, I'm a bit forgetful. I'm going to add a biome. Okay, so this episode is all going to be about the first biome. Uh, I will probably stop it halfway through when we get to things like height maps and stuff. No, sorry, height maps are first. Ignore me, ignore me. <laughs> so what you do is you go add a biome slot there. You see that? So you add a biome slot and see how this green things come up. So you link them now. And yes, let's uh, call this biome. What should, what should we do first? Should we do these rocks? That could be the easiest one. So let's go... Yeah, let's go uh, the rock. Rock well, what can we call it? Uh, rocky, rock desert, rock, rocklands. Let's call them the rocklands, okay? Um, and then all this stuff you come to later, ignore the distribution, all that kind of stuff until later. That comes to when you're trying to figure out where your biomes go. Um, so we'll ignore that for now. What we do need to do is add a height map. So you go over to your left side, you add height map and you join them up. See so your height map down here. Okay, 
Now, if I was to look at this height map, so you go click on your eye, you destroy the eye map, you'll see this come up. Now, we're just going to get a full size, full screen, sorry. Uh, where did my, where'd my main window go? Oh, we've swapped everything around. That's cool. <laughs> let's move this. Okay. So, let's have a look at our height map. So, that's pretty plain right now. So, zoom out, and you can click on it and move around, and hang on, I need to zoom out. There you go. So, there's our height map. So if I go back over to here, and I change that height map to, we need to add noise as well. So let's add a, let's add a pearl in noise for now. I will probably, what I like to do is I like to add a ring map. So let's just do that now. Let's just get it done. I like to add a ring map, then you add noise to that. Okay. Now let's see how that's looking. Whoa, so that's all spiky at the moment, right? So you don't want that because that will be horrible. <laughs> so we need to probably turn the frequency down. I'm gonna clamp this. So clamping means, I believe, as far as I understand, means like clamping, you know, how the clamp does. So you're limiting how, how far and high it can go. We want our minimum height map. So minimum is like the block level, so 61. We this land isn't, it's a bit rocky, so you know what, we'll probably make it about 100. How is that looking? Yeah, so you can see now it's more mountainy, still probably too much. So I will mess around with that, and uh, we'll have a look at what I've done in the next episode, and we will continue from there. Thanks guys for watching, make sure you check out the playlist video, uh, and yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Bye!